Welcome to my lecture online. Now here we're going to quickly review the density of water and the density of ice. And there's a special notice that needs to be made here because we tend to think that the density of water is just constant at all temperatures and the density of ice is constant at all temperatures. And ice is less dense than water. That is true, that's why ice floats kind of unusual for almost any material or any element because virtually everything is the other way around. Once it becomes solid, it tends to sink to the bottom. So ice and water are different, but they're not constant. So let's take a look at it. So here's a dividing line, zero degrees Celsius, where ice becomes water when it's heated or when water becomes ice when it's cooled. Notice that the density of ice at zero degrees Celsius is 0.917. Typically we talk about 0.92, but it's roughly 0.917. But notice that as ice gets colder, the density increases and becomes as much as 0.934 at minus 200 degrees Celsius. We see the sudden jump as soon as ice becomes water. It becomes more dense. It jumps up to almost one gram per cubic centimeter, not quite, about 0.9984. And notice that it continues to get more dense as it heats up from 0 to 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, it is essentially 1 gram per cubic centimeter, but latest measurement with special techniques said that's not quite that much, but we can just call it 1 gram per cubic centimeter. And then notice as water is being heated, it becomes less and less dense. And by the time you reach, the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, the density has dropped back down to 0.958 grams per cubic centimeter. So see that it's not as simple as you think. It's not a step function and it's not constant when it's ice and it's constant when it's water. So keep that in mind when you work out your problems. And that is what you should remember.